Hello again. Following our quick introduction, let's take a step back and look in greater detail at things and start with object manipulation. I'm going to add a box from the library and maximize the alpha view by double clicking on its title bar. Objects are selected by clicking on them which highlights them and shows this red selection area around them. Clicking anywhere outside the selection area deselects the objects. When objects are selected, there's a few buttons that appear next to the objects. The first one reveals the selection commands, which let you manipulate the selection itself, where one of the most commonly used is the deselect command. The second button reveals the edit menu, which contains commands such as delete, mirror, or the shortcut to the properties of the selected objects. The third button is a drag and drop button. This can be used for different things. In a previous video, I showed you how to patch fixtures using it. In this video, I will show you how to create copies of objects using it. The fourth button reveals a quick information view about the selected objects. So let's use the drag and drop button to create a couple of copies of our box and take a look at selecting multiple objects at a time. The easiest way to do this is by holding the shift key and clicking on the other objects. We can also use the command or control key to toggle the selection of an object. And finally, it's also possible to drag around objects to select them together. When we have multiple objects selected, the corners of the selection take on a new role. It lets you distribute the selected objects. The large triangle that appears on top of the selection is a rotation tool. You can click on the large part of the triangle to position it and use the two outermost parts of it to activate rotation. The innermost part rotates all the objects together and the outermost part rotates them individually. Keep in mind that you can always use the undo command to step back through the changes you've made. Finally, I want to point out that as we're moving objects, some purple lines appear and these are connected to the snapping functionality. It lets you snap objects uh, to other objects and also attach fixtures to truss, trusses to other truss and more things. Sometimes it gets in your way though and you want to deactivate it. This is done using the command or control keys depending on whether you're on Windows or Mac. Thank you so much for watching.